what is up everybody it is Ryan and welcome to this video of how to install NVE uh, EMB reshade and all that good stuff notification uh, this video is going to be pretty simple straightforward of how to install the stuff for 5m and my exact settings I'm going to show you that I have in game because if you guys are curious on that how I get my game to look how it does I'm going to show you absolutely everything so First off, you would need these files here. You need the MVE package, which we'll get. Uh, the new Parallax Roads, which is optional. You have to be like, I think, a $15 Patreon for the Parallax Roads, but you just need to be a $10 Patreon for the MVE. Uh, you will need the EMB series and Reshade. So first, let's go to Raised Mods, which is here. So if you're not a Patreon, you do need to become a Patreon for like $10 a month, and you'll get access to all these, you know, all of his mods. And stuff like that. He has dates in the usually like every month, so I recommend NVE's amazing. Um, so I'll definitely recommend you go and become a Patreon for this guy. So let's go to post and say okay, you'll come here. Then you'll there's download links here. Um, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, just click one and whatever. Download it, which I'm not going to download it because I already got it downloaded. But so you'll go to this link here and just click the 5M package. You don't need anything else. Just click the 5M package and download that, which is 3.31 gigabytes. Uh, depending on your internet, uh, usually it won't take very long to download, but just depends of the type of internet that you have. And let's go next to the EMB series. Uh, you go to Google, just type in EMB series, and it'll pop up this page. You will go down here to click download, which I won't click it because I already got it. And then reshade is the same thing. Just go to Google, type in reshade. You click this link, and you just click download, and and I'm not going to do it because I already have it. So when you get to this point here, the first thing that we're going to do is open up the MVE package. Okay, Make sure you have like WinRAR or 7-zip to open this file. Um, you want to go to Main Package and click Mods. Okay, So you have all these files here. Now you want to go over to 5M, click Open File Location, and go to 5M Application Data, and go to Mods. Now see, I have all these add-ons and stuff like that in here, MVE. You just want to drag all these, you know, highlight all these and drag and drop it to the mods folder. Boom. Now you have MVE installed. It's that simple. But now if you want uh, optional mods, like which I recommend this stuff, I would probably go the brighter emergency lights. I would do probably the high intensity. I wouldn't do ultra because it's just very blinding and it's like Jesus. So just do the high intensity and you just drag and drop that. And pretty much the same thing, the Rhodes Overhaul Pack, I would just drag and drop that. If you guys don't have the Patreon for the Parallax Rhodes, just get the Rhodes Overhaul Pack. It's still pretty good. Uh, weapons Overhaul, so same thing. So all these files that you guys want, Darker Nights, you just drag and drop. These are optional. So it's whatever you know that you want, you can drag and drop that over there. Like Northern Lights, that's pretty cool. I recommend that. Just drag and drop that over there as well if you guys want that. Again, you don't have to, but the Christmas Halloween stuff, I don't mess with. Now, you'll also see a file that says EMB required. Now, this is where we're going to install, uh, install EMB. So, let's just minimize this here. Now, you're not going to need this, so just exit out of that. Let's go to EMB series. Now, once you bring this up, you go to this version here, the first file. Click this, and now all this here. So, now we have to do something a little bit different. It uh, just depends where your GTA 5 is installed, minus through Steam. So, we're going to go open up a new folder here. I got mine on my gaming drive, and it's going to be under the Steam library, Steam apps, common, and look for Grand Theft Auto 5. And all these files here that you opened up in that folder, you're going to drag and drop every single one of those into there. Okay? And boom, now you have EMB. So, again, guys, this is mostly drag and drop mods. It's very simple to do. Okay. And also, too, if you want to do the new Parallax Roads, if you guys want to be a $15 Patreon, if you guys want to give out more money. Uh, the roads are pretty cool. It's just totally up to you. It's just five more dollars, but that's you know something that's, that's your choice. It's the same exact thing. You just want to click this. Don't need that. Click the new parallax roads and for 5M. And what you'll do is sorry that I closed this. Let me open this up. You go to application data mods and you drag and drop this into the mods folder. And now you have the new parallax roads. So now let's install reshade. Reshade is very simple to install. Um, so just click here to select the game, manage the reshade installation. So you want to click this, go to browse, and you want to go to wherever your GTA 5 is installed at, minus through Steam. So it's going to be under my gaming drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and GTA 5. And you want to click GTA 5 application. And see, I already have it installed, but I'll just show you the process. You'll have a different looking screen besides this one. 
but it looks similar to something like this. You just want to uncheck all and check all and make sure everything's checked because you want to install all this to have different options with reshade if you want to mess with your game. So I'm going to click OK. It's updating, downloading, but you guys will have more options and more screens, but it's the same exact thing, so guys, don't freak out. Um, so there you go, reshade is now installed. So now let's go over to 5M, so I'll show you my in-game settings. All right, guys, once you load in 5M, you will have a screen that pops up that says reshade and EMB series in the top left corner. But once you get into the server, you just want to click home, and this will bring up your reshade menu. Now you have all these options here that you can click, and it just kind of changes your game, either minor or a lot, like vibrance. I don't know if you can really tell. It's just a very minor, very minor change. But these are my settings that I have currently now. I don't have anything else on, so I have the vibrance and... I don't know why I have two clarities, but just have one clarity, then the Lumer Sharpen fix because this kind of, you can tell the difference. It's kind of blurry, then it kind of changes the uh, sharpen distance, I guess. So these are my settings that I currently have, just these three settings, and you guys can mess around if you guys want to change it and make your game look any different. Now for the E&B series, you want to click Shift Enter. This will bring up this menu. Now these are my settings, this is what I recommend. Uh, I have my FPS limit to 120. I have a uh, 160 hertz monitor, but I just do 120. Um, I do have, make sure you want to have use effect because here's the big difference. If you didn't have EMB series installed, this is what the NBA looks like, but with uh, the EMB series, this is what it looks like. So definitely a big difference, especially in the reflections and all that good stuff. So. These are settings that you need to use. I would use the original post processing, just have that checked. The original bloom, I have that checked. Uh, the lens distortion, check. Um, the patch shader, check. I don't have that, don't have that uh, checked. Enable bloom, I have that checked. Get out of the way, bitch. Uh, depth of field, I don't have checked. Ambient inclusion, uh, don't have checked. Subsurface scattering, have it checked. Skylighting, no. Detailed shadow, no. It kind of messes with your frames a little bit. Normal map shadow, yeah. Uh, rain reflections. I definitely recommend the rain reflections because see, you can see these puddles up here. And you turn that on, is a big difference, makes it look better. Um, and these other two options I have checked. So those are my settings, and when you want to make sure you click save configuration, your game will freeze and make it look like it's crashing, but it's not. Okay, get away from this woman here. She's had enough. So just click uh, shift enter again to close that, and here is my in-game settings. We're going to go all through all of these here. Let's go through graphics first. I am running an RTX 3070, so this will depend on what type of graphics card that you have. I'm running DirectX 11. The render resolution is 2560 by 14040. Uh, the output monitor, whatever you care about that. I have the FXAA on, the MSA times 2, NVIDIA's on, VSync, turn that off. Turn that shit off. Uh, pause game's on. My population, and all this stuff here just depends on your graphics card, guys. It just depends on what you're having or running. I have a uh, Intel Core i7 along with the RTX 3070, so my game on this server I'm getting 73 FPS right now, but some servers it goes down to like 40 frames and it just sucks. But I pretty much have everything on very high, um, I'll kind of go slow so you guys can see all this. If you guys have the same setup that I have, you guys can run all this stuff. But for the most part my game does run smooth. Here's my advanced graphics. I do have my 165 hertz on. It does make a big difference. In order to get that, you got to make sure you have screen type full screen exclusive to change your hertz. So make sure you have that on. This here would definitely kill your frames. I have both of these off, plus don't make really that big of a difference. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Hopefully this video was very helpful and very easy. These mods are pretty simple to install. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see everybody in the next one. Deuces. Peace, deuces. Yo, alright. End this shit.